What if he catches us? You run one way, I run the other. Whoever he catches first, too bad. So you lied to me. That depends on how you define lying. How do you define it? Reclining your body in a horizontal position. Please tell me I'm going to hear good news of this parent-teacher thing tonight. Depends on how you define good news. I define it as you getting straight A's with no behavioral issues. You might want to rethink that definition. I'll kill you. Do you understand me? I'm gonna kill you. God, what the hell is that? Oh my god. Did you faint to the side of blood? No, but I might have decided to chopped off arm. Ow, ow. I mean, no. You want to hear it in Spanish? No. You are wrong. You're a horrible person. I know it keeps me awake at night. I'm gonna have an eternity in the lowest circle of hell. Ah, uh, he did it. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. You're not gay. I could be. I can't think of anything. My mind's completely blank. Your mind's blank? You can't think of something to say? Yeah. This kind of pressure. Please, let, let, let me talk. I'm gonna break off an extra large branch of mountain ash, wrap it in wolf's bane, roll it in mistletoe, and shove it up your freaking dials. Okay. Get back to your seat, Solinsky! Okay! I'm supposed to call you first when I find a dead body? Yes! Oh my god, could this get any worse? That was rhetorical! Oh, damn. For the love of God. Lydia, you're supposed to call us after you find the dead body. Oh no, I'm not doing that again. You find the dead body from now on. How are we supposed to find the dead body? You're always the one finding the dead body. Oh my God. You know what I want from my birthday? A bike? Think you can answer some questions without the usual level of sarcasm? You can ask the questions without the usual level of stupid. What, Scott, come on. I'm 147 pounds of pale skin and fragile bone, okay? Sarcasm is my only defense. 